what's going on? It's your girl, Super Cindy, and welcome to Let's Pop Up. <laughs> so tonight, because you see all the hearts and everything, is a Valentine's Day edition. So we'll be speaking about love, relationships, and a whole lot of other things. And my guest tonight, she's an artist with her new single, Sex Drive. She's an entertainer. You've seen her on TV for years. And now she's also an executive producer, yes, 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 of her own show, Jocelyn's Cabaret, on the Zeus Network. Make some noise for the Puerto Rican princess, Jocelyn Hernandez. Hey. 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 Welcome, girl. Yes. That was a good introduction. <laughs> I'll, I'll write it you, sir. Oh, wait, she what forgot to mention. What did I forget? Executive producer of Bonnie Bella, oh, yeah. special delivery. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> Not only did you push out the baby, but you also executive produced that segment. And that held issue. the camera. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got Girl. camera credits too, y'all. Super. I'm moment. nice, dog. <laughs> and next to her. Oh, you got fans, Melissa, got fans. He's, <laughs> he's a businessman, a music producer, and you can also see him on Jocelyn's Cabaret. And he's gonna let us know other things, because I was like, yo, I meant to ask you, like, what should I put in your title? But you're just a great guy. Make some noise for Jocelyn's man, <laughs> Ballistic Beats. <laughs> but I don't really want to just introduce you. My better a, a half, yes. my better half, girl. Yes. Business partners working together. Yep. Absolutely. How has that been? It's been amazing for me. <laughs> I mean, in the beginning, of course, everything's going to be tough. It's not easy. I'm not going to act like it's like been the roses. Best. Like, yeah, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But now that we have a, a good understanding mm -hmm. and we went through our ups and downs, mm -hmm. we understand ourselves and we we're just pushing and, and it's been great, actually. Like, last few months has been incredible. Don't you know worry, Jocelyn, saying? I work with my man too, so I know everything that you guys go through. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's easy. It's not easy that, at that all. That shit's like, ah, oh, everything's ah, great all the time. Yeah, when that you shit, work together and live together like, and are together, then right. it's a whole different ball game. A whole well, different ball game. It, it, it only works when the lady's the boss. <laughs> Which is true, that's true. You know what, I'm not gonna act like that's true. When the lady's the boss. Just fall back, it's good. That's right. Just... But you know, in the street, in the street ladies, you got to act like they the boss. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. You got to be smart. Don't let everybody know you're the boss, because then they be like, why are you doing all that? Yeah. But you got to remember, men were raised by women, so they always want to be told what to do. <laughs> exactly. Ballistic's like, wait a Hello? Minute. Like, I guess. I don't know. I'm just saying, ladies, uh, think about it. Who bear the people? We do. Yes, you raise them, you, you birth them. Yeah, so you know they always want to follow direction. Uh huh. And if it's given in an awesome way, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can be married. You can be married. You can be married. You can be married. <laughs> do YouTube videos and write a book, Jocelyn, and teach us how to find a man. You know what I'm oh, saying? OMG, girl, I'm still, you know, I'm still, I'm, I'm still a work in progress. Yeah. Because, of course, I want to be the best woman that I could be for him. Because he's an awesome man. Mm -hmm. Listen, he's going to be the best man that I can get. So, ladies, if I don't spend the rest of my life with him, anybody after him is going to be shitty. Cause Hello. Just, I, I mean, I just know. They're not gonna live up to. No, no, no. To ballistic. They not. But I'm fine with that. I can handle it by myself. Uh. Yeah, she's that. Ballistic, very are you woman. Latino? Or what, what nationality no, are you? No, my, my father's from Zaire, and oh. my mom is Romanian and Italian. Nice. Yes, uh, so Jocelyn, you be cussing him out, cussing him out yeah. in Spanish, and he don't know what the hell you're talking about. African. I'm learning how to speak <laughs> Spanish. I so curse about in English. <laughs> so he can understand, right? Every last word. So let's get into Jocelyn's Cabaret. So you are the creator, executive producer. How does it feel to be running your own reality show? You already did it with the birth of Bonnie Bella, but this is really yours. Like, I mean, it feels awesome to be able to put something together that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is no sexier lady than Jocelyn, no offense, everybody. <laughs> but it was like, it's in my blood, you know, mm -hmm. to be a cabaret lady and to be able to bring other ladies 
uh, that came from where I came from or there are, that are where I came from, like the strip club. Because I used to be a stripper back in the days. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of money. I had a great time, too. So mm -hmm. the ladies that are still stripping now that are my homegirls, I want to give them an actual opportunity to be able to elevate to something like a cabaret, you know, mm -hmm. with, with my music. And some of those girls can really do music, you know. Oh, so really? if they stay down, who's to say I won't put their song in my album? You know, so it's a... It's a work in progress for mm -hmm. all of us, uh -huh. and it's a, it's a stepping stone for everyone, and I'm just happy that I could be the one to put that out there, because let's just be real. I open the doors for all these bitches. And reality shows, TV world, yes. They learn from you, and then... Word. So, you know, with that being said, I'm really <laughs> excited about the cabaret, because I'm taking Jocelyn's cabaret to Vegas. Nice. Yeah, and, and you know, Ballistic did the whole soundtrack for the cabaret. Okay, yep. Ballistic. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Right. Get the points. <laughs> did the yeah. music. He produced, he produced Sex Drive, so he's the producer, executive producer yeah, of Justin's Sex Drive. Yeah, an incredible artist. I mean, she's, she's a superstar, period. Aww. She danced better than a lot of women that I've ever seen, like. Her dancing is amazing. That's why I said, like, she and should go on Dancing genre. with the Stars, but you're talking about the other dancing as well. And but, she's and, very, and de cool. very dedicated. Like, she goes to the dance studio. She, mm. She's in the studio. She's writing. She's um, in the gym every morning at 530. Um, in the morning. Not in the afternoon, lady. Juicing, juicing every day. She eat clean. She indulge. You know, you, you, can, you can cheat Have once in a cheat. while. Yeah, yeah we cheat thing. here and there and stuff like but. She's very dedicated, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm definitely yeah. a slave to my career and my life. Because, listen, when I die, I want to be able to leave behind something. Mm -hmm. And I tell him and I tell Bonnie, if I die, y'all better keep up with my cabaret. Just because Jocelyn <laughs> ain't here, that don't mean the cabaret must not go on. Hello. Jocelyn's cabaret must go on with me or without me. It, you that's know, the legacy that goes on and on. Absolutely. So at the end of the day, to be able to put something together, I mean, I get emails. I mean, it's just, I help a lot of, these girls are, I'm being, I'm being a mother mm -hmm. to these ladies. Okay. You know, some of them call me mommy. I'm like, bitch, girl, bye. <laughs> you know, some of them call me mommy, but their mothers have never told them or showed them I what mean. I've done. Mm -hmm. So they, because my mother didn't even show me or told me that I could be a superstar, that I could make music, that I could be a executive producer, that I could act on the show. My, you know how many acting shows I turned down? Uh -huh. I'd be like, bye, bitch. I'm doing Jocelyn's Cabaret. <laughs> but my mother didn't teach me that. I had to learn that by myself. I had to hustle. I'm from Lauderdale. I went to school in Lauderdale. OK, and now fast forward. I never knew that. I never knew you were from the 954. What? I, did, I thought you were from like 305. OMG, no. I'm so, I, went to, I went to West Pine. I went to Coconut Creek. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm from Lauderdale. <laughs> so, you know, I, I learned everything by myself. And when you learn everything by yourself, you have a obligation to show other young ladies that they can't do it like me, but uh -huh. they can do it. But they can do it. <laughs> Just a little bit less better than you. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> they can all do it. Yes. If you focus, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something I learned in this game. I've been on TV for the past 10 years. Hello. Yeah, I mean, fucking long time. And to be able to reinvent yourself and always just be that bitch, mm -hmm. it's amazing. So for me to be able something to teach Something that's it, not easy. Something that's not easy. For me to be able to teach those girls, I'm like, listen, that's, I'm going to heaven. <laughs> I'm going to heaven, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving back. <laughs> I love what it. What else do I want? So next episode, we saw tonight's episode and the teaser for next episode, that's the episode that they've been teasing when your show first came out of the pooling of the hair and the fight. So what can the fans expect for next episode? I think you gotta do video shit. I wanna see all this online. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, so the next, okay, here's the thing. I do not like superstitious people. Okay. But if you don't know what that means, because I have to Google a lot, I'm Puerto Rican. I don't know half of this shit in here. <laughs> so I'm always like, what the fuck does yep. this mean? But well, asking me something. Yeah, I'm, I'm always asking him, how did you, I mean, I went to the bank and I spelled it. I mean, I'm like, how could I make so much money and be such a dickhead? Like, I just don't understand. But anyways, I, um, 
I don't like superstitious people. You know what a superstitious person is? They believe in one thing. They believe in certain shit to be who they are. I don't believe in certain shit to be who I am. I am who I am. Okay. I don't right. got to believe in shit. I don't got to think I'm better than uh, the next person for, because of what I do or because of what I look like. And some of these bitches in the cabaret really think that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, bitch, take that wig off and that makeup off, bitch. <laughs> you done. You dusty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so my thing is like, you, and not even that, look, I, karma is a motherfucker. I want good karma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pray to my angels every night, gosh, if, you know. Because I just don't know what's going to happen after my flesh. Ain't nobody ever seen the shit. Mm -hmm. And if, it, 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 if I do got good ones and bad ones, I want my good ones to always be. So, you know, um, I, I'm going to always root for the underdog. Because mm -hmm. just the underdog, they used to do it to me. You know what I'm saying? They, they tried to kill me Count a long time out. ago. Yep. But the bitch still hit. Hello. You know? That part. So I, I, I don't want to kill. I don't like or want to kill anybody's character. And um, I'm a producer, mm -hmm. so I have to produce. I produce everything on every show that I've ever done. Except that sometimes you just don't get the credits. Okay. But I've done most of the producing for the past 10 years. Sure. Uh, but I produced in a way where I know everybody's character. And so I produced them as I produced them following their characters. Mm -hmm. But then I stop at a certain place after two, three times of me producing Ish Lady with their character. Mm -hmm. I no longer have to do anything else because. It's like They're you, set. you light a match and the whole force can go down. Hello. So all I do is light the match, which when you light a match, it's like this big. It's <laughs> like that big, right? So I'm not doing anything but lighting the match. And once that match falls, it's everybody's and attitude, energies, everybody's personality. Hunger to be yeah. bigger. On so the it's show. like you see it unraveling and it's like it's so interesting and that's the correct word to use it's so interesting it's almost like because i've seen psychologists before my mm -hmm. whole life i had to see a psychologist mm -hmm. because i would fucking lose it mm -hmm. right and so i've seen a lot of psychologists in the past and to be able to observe people mm -hmm. when they are in that element when they forget about everything and, and they think about that. what they need to do hello it's alarming it's a, it's a very alarming place to be in but because I've been doing it for so long, I know how to deal with it. But it's very alarming. But then you and it's very seen. toxic, too. Yeah. It's a very toxic situation, uh, which, you know, for me, I'm so blessed. I don't fall into that. But mm -hmm. it's a very funny thing to be able to see characters or people change who they are or show you their To make it color. to the next season, to the next episode. I mean, to the next, I it's you. unbelievable. Us, us as people should do better. Mm -hmm. But who am I to talk? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, mama. Thanks for that inside scoop, right? Like, right. it's like, damn, that's all of us got. Sure. So we're going to Y'all owe me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it to season four of whatever you're doing, thank Jocelyn. All right, so we have a question from a Let's Pop Off viewer, and they sent in a question. Her name is Tamika. She said, I'm currently in a relationship. However, I'm kind of feeling my coworker who happens to be engaged. We eat lunch together and he laughs with me. Meanwhile, my man rolls his eyes and is always annoyed with me. My coworker is always supportive and he compliments me all the time. Would this be considered cheating? Like is an emotional attachment to someone when you're in a relationship be considered <laughs> cheating? Well, first of all, if her man being mean and always got his lip up, he already cheating. Oh, so he's cheating on her because he cheats her mean. Absolutely. And she's ready to cheat. <laughs> and then she just needs to she's go ahead ready. and she, she needs to break it off with that dude. Mm -hmm. Be like, this ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. You don't treat me nice. You don't take me out to eat. We don't smile. And then she needs to start dating some other people. I got if you. If she has to ask, ask the question, she's ready to cheat. And she's guilty. She already feels like she's yeah, cheating. She's so ready. just. Yes, yeah, go. It's go time. She Hello. Might as well let it, um, Any pop let off it go. Um, viewers want to <laughs> talk about it? All right, so let's introduce yourself and pop off. Hey. Hi, beautiful. Hey, how you doing? Hey, mama. Well, yes, it's 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> We're a work in hello, progress. Hello. Just, uh, <laughs> she's good. That's no, my no, mama, get the mic. Go ahead. Yes, it is cheating because it's an emotional attachment. If you are not comfortable with your mate doing it, you can't dish it out. So that's it. So you're saying it's an emotional attachment is considered cheating? Yeah. Okay. It is an emotional okay. attachment, though. Yeah. You could definitely have an emotional attachment with a person mm -hmm. and totally be in another, another relationship and totally love that person. Mm -hmm. I, I agree, because women especially... We don't, need, we don't need you to get in the box. Yeah. For us to be like, oh, MG. <laughs> We're so soft and lame yeah. that we fall in love without even fucking. That is It's facts. like we ain't even get no cock. We already in love. Facts. <laughs> You have something yeah, to pop off yeah, about? Yeah, like, what the fuck? No cop. No she just got a hard man at home. She want a soft-ass man at work. That's what that is. Wait, say it again. She got a hard man at home to tell a bitch, I want to fuck. And she got a soft-ass man saying, I want to make relations at the job. That's different. <laughs> That's what that is. So her man at home is hard. And then hard. Her, bitch, and I want to fuck you cook. I want to fuck. And the man at the job, baby, I can take it. Let's go to lunch. And later on, I want to make relations. Oh, that, that's so. Maybe that's what. <laughs> that's right. So that's definitely. So the next thing that we're gonna do, I have to give both of you something. This is called quick round. All right. So you have a one and a two. So you have to show what you decide. Okay? All right. And I'll give you what's one and what's two. And you quickly answer, okay? Yes. So these are things, either pick the first choice or the second choice. Cook at home or go out to eat? So one is cook, two is go out to eat. Yay, because she's healthy. You don't like eating out a lot, right? Oh, nah, oh honey, I ain't eating it. I'm we not eating every, nobody food. We cook Whoa. every single day. Really? You guys should start a meal prep service or something for the people that oh, want to eat like We you. can barely keep up with the music and the TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and It's tough. We, we do cook every day, though. We uh, that's so good. Yeah. We can, Who we, cooks more? Like, what do you guys like cooking? Uh, me? Uh, we cook... Um, a lot of fish, like the yellowtail snapper. Mm. Uh, uh, vegetables and fruits. Vegetables with that uh, rice. That's why I'm so trying. Girl, listen. Listen. I need your meal plan. Girl. Yeah, we cook salmon. You know I alternate my shit, though. I, I, would, I would uh fast. Like, I think I fasted today. Or yeah. maybe yesterday. No, yesterday. I fasted yeah. yesterday. And then ate, like, a little bit. I mean, I got to keep this. That's this what figure. I'm trying to. I'm a slave to my life. Honey. Yes. Nothing more. I love it. All right, let's go to the next one. You like taking a shower or taking a bath? One is shower, two is a bath. Yay, okay. <laughs> number one, next one, number one, you like breakfast or number two, brunch? Okay. <laughs> I love breakfast. All right, one, <laughs> night out dancing or two, home movie and chill? Yay. <laughs> All right, the next one, yeah. number one is white liquor, number two is dark liquor. <laughs> no, Phoenix, not the Phoenix. <laughs> I do both, man. Yeah, True, so. both, okay. Next one, one is sweet text messages, or two, talk on the phone. Oh. We do. We never off the phone. We talk all the time. We, she, we always on the phone. Right away. Oh, that's Once so cool. Step out, I know. Like we're like this, and it's like. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, she rolls her eyes and she's like, "I'll call you in two minutes, baby." Of course. <laughs> all right. Number one, lights on, or number two, lights off. Uh, yeah, one. Yeah. Lights on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Number one. He gets nervous when we start talking about sex. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Begin to get nervous, Ballistic, because they're, they're going to get a little bit more racier. Number one, passionate slow love, or number two, wild freaky sex? What is it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like the teenage. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always want it long and deep. <laughs> Yeah. So I thought that fell in the category of passion. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 
I don't know. What you trying to say? <laughs> that I don't finish long time, but I'm trying to say that I always want it long and deep. All right. What category does that follow? Passion, I don't know. slow One love. and two. Yeah, because he's out here to pass. Because it could be long and deep, and it could be quick too. <laughs> and freaking, right? Long, deep, and quick. That's his favorite. <laughs> long <right>. and quick. <laughs> My favorite is deep and long. And All right. And, and, and a long time. <laughs> okay. Get to it, ballistic. You My eat, bad. You I eat. was thinking long. I was thinking like. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Long. Yeah. We got deep that. And long. I Lady, didn't know you were talking about it, length. Or if how you don't long. got you a 13 inch or better, you're playing yourself. Oh, <laughs> ladies are like, wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who said what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch. Trust me. I got me a 13, bitch. <laughs> oh. That ballistic. Uh -huh. I'm upset. Finish. I could jump on that car. <laughs> You can't waste your time with little cocks. Look at y'all. Y'all look too good. Huh? And listen, if a man got a big cock, a good job, and it's a good man, that's what you need. A who? So what do, what do you what, what do, do you, you have? have? A what? What do you have? Hey, buddy, work it. Penis. All you got this penis, penis, penis. That's it. Yeah. And then you know. Punish till you finish. <laughs> he, he, he can always use a he little tongue. Punish till you he said punish till you finish. Penis. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the next one, guys. Number one is a forehead kiss, or number two, tongue kiss. Oh, two. Aww. <laughs> I like to stick my tongue down her throat. <laughs> Sorry. I hate to kiss. I mean, I do. I mean, I don't know. I... <laughs> Down the throat. <laughs> All right, the next one. A mas number one, a massage from Bay, or two, a massage appointment. Appointment. <laughs> <laughs> like who the hell? No, but you know time? what? We get the um. But we the, the together couples. though. Yeah, we get oh, the, the couples, couples massage. Yeah. So That's good. Yeah, those are shit, good. Whatever. You know, those are chopping nice. Chopping it up. Oh, and all that. All right. So the next one. One is stay mad, or two just apologize. Oh, now this is what I'm working. On. Sorry. Oh, I. I... <laughs> stay this mad. One. So you this stay one. mad, he apologizes. <laughs> yeah, just best best thing to do. That's Tell the us. best thing, guys. Talk Tell to us. them, ballistic. Best thing to do. Just apologize. Because if you do this, this is, that shit going to just... I'm trying. And that shit going to have you all, like, all focused. <laughs> the money is not in the vision anymore. And it's going to go this way and all that. Fuck that. Two. My bad. I'm sorry. Get back to it. You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I'm sorry. Who cares? Uh, I did this for a little minute because I'm like, yo, she coming at me all crazy. Or hard. Like, fuck wrong with this. Fuck wrong with you. Then I was like this. And then she's like... What can she say? Nothing. <laughs> no, when he was like that. <laughs> no, this. When, no, when you got the, the one where you apologize, then you got a happy wife. And then That's you, what I'm saying. Exactly. I said exactly. when I did this, this was like meatballish of me. And then yeah. this one, this one is when I'm You're sorry. learning ballistic. Yeah. I like that. Easy. Just apologize. It's easy. Be mad for what? Even, listen, even if you're wrong sometimes, because even when, I mean, even when you write. Yeah, even when you write, Still, just apologize, because she's still going to just argue and argue and argue. Man, man. ain't never right. <laughs> <laughs> that it's, part. It's corny, but just do it. Because you know what? You're going yeah, to just keep pushing. And you're just like, all right, she good. That's right. <laughs> Get to it. That ain't what you Buy be you doing, Jeff. red Jay. bottoms and shit. Like, That's that, not what you do, Jeff. Well, yeah, that, that, uh, do you really? Uh, no, because Jeff is fucking irky as fuck. He would not apologize. I could just see it. I ain't apologizing. <laughs> Jim and I. Mm. Jeff. Mm. Jeff. <laughs> Teach him ballistic. I'm telling you, Brody. This is the one right here. All right, let's go to the next one. Number one. Number one, an island getaway. Or number two, a trip to Vegas. 
Island getaway, right? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Fuck Vegas, good shit. Vegas. <laughs> In the island, like if you have a, if you have to pick, definitely go to we the island. We got the hard rock right there. Hey, right? And the, the guitar thing. and all that now. It's just like, fuck that. Yeah, the guitar. And I'm not like gambling my We got money. our own Vegas. <laughs> She's like, no to gambling. I no, keep that. your money, ladies. And the last one, condoms or pull-out method? Oh, condoms that's or, easy. Condoms or pull-out method? Uh, Which one is condoms? One or like, two. Like, one is condoms, two is pull-out. Okay, okay. Yay! All right. Bonnie Bell don't need no, no siblings right now. <laughs> no, we are super fucking grossed out with everything. Mm. We're grossed out. We're like, oh, mm, mm, no, what the fuck? <laughs> Corona. <laughs> Corona. I, I don't want to joke about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, we are so, we gross we gross each other out with just the minor things. So yeah. like, especially he's so Plus annoying. Plus, ready for babies too, right? Like yeah, and then we don't want to have babies yeah. yet. Okay. We, yeah. I like that. Make some noise for them for being so honest with all that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the next question that I'm going to ask them, if there's any audience members that want to chime in. What are your top three things that you feel you need to have a great relationship? That we need or what other well, people need? No, like you, what are the top three things that you need to have a great relationship? And what are the top three things that you feel you need to have a great, so you guys answer separately, whoever wants to go first. I don't need anything. So to be in a relationship, you don't- With like, him? Or yeah, or like, I, okay. Like, I thought you, like, if it comes down to us being together, we're, in my eyes, I don't know about him, but in my eyes, we're good. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, I mean, if we want good, then we won't be together. So if you, like, when you're single, right, to be in a relationship, what are, like, the top three things that you feel you need? Someone supportive, someone who doesn't, like, those things, the qualities uh, or whatever. Uh, support. Conversation. Mm -hmm. Understanding. Okay. And you ballistic? Me, uh, communication. Yes, communication. Uh, support. Mm hmm And, and uh, love. Like, Aww, real love. Genuine. Randy, no, no, wait. You know what? I take that. <laughs> love Lo will get there. Loyal. <laughs> like, loyalty. Love. Let me say oh, loyalty. Oh, loyalty. Place of love. Yes. That was a good one. Loyalty, yeah, loyalty. All right, so we're going to go to the audience. Audience member, pop off. What is something you need in your relationship, three things that you need. So first off, how you doing there, man? What's up, hey. G? Hi. What's good, G? My wife for eight years right here. Hey. Oh, hey. Woo, woo, black love, black love. Okay. So, thank you. I'm turn it on. Bet. All right. So I'm not going to say the same thing y'all said, because I totally <laughs> agree with all that. But I believe you got to be honest with yourself, because you won't know what you really want in another partner. That's like the biggest thing to me. And good sex. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Only two for me. Important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I like your first one. Because mm -hmm. the first one that he said, you got you to gotta know what you want to know what you want in another person, right? Yeah. yeah. Because if I didn't know what I wanted, how are we gonna work out? Like, That's right. we have to, or, or with him too, if he didn't know what he wanted, how are we gonna work out? We're not gonna work out, because we're gonna hate each other. We don't know what we want. That's right. I can't stand that motherfucker. I see him every day, I wanna just punch him. Like, you gotta yeah. really know what you want for yourself to, to build with a person. Yeah. Because if, if you don't know, then you're not gonna be able to build. You're gonna mm -hmm. be all fucked up. Hello. Because nothing happens but arguments and fights. With me and him, we talk a lot, we build, you know what I'm saying? I'm always on his dick, like, listen. What's up <laughs> with that video? You loaded that song? Did you talk to the network? Well, you know, because I'm yeah. doing the same thing, too. Yeah. And he does it to me, too. So yeah. it's like, I think that you, you have to do that to be able to have a good relationship. Other. Hold each other accountable. Yeah, you got to stay on top yeah. of each other. Don't, don't, That's it, a good one. Hold each other accountable. Because mm -hmm. if don't, you don't, don't... Don't let just one just uh, be constantly because it's the never going to work go if there's no balance there mm -hmm. it's never going to work i love that there's got to be a balance you know man you got to just like tell your woman too if you see something even if she get mad then i say apologize or whatever but address tell her about it. herself yeah mm -hmm. address her you know what i'm saying i tell her about herself all the time like oh i up. love it hello so we have an even audience member who wants to pop off as well about that so well name. the number one is communication mm -hmm. 
Number two, ladies, I love gifts. You know, that is one of the love languages. What, gifts? gifts. Yeah, she likes gifts. You know, gifts. give me the gifts, you know, shower me with gifts. And last but not least, sex. Hello. It needs to be good. Okay. You know one thing that I, I feel like in a relationship, I need to laugh with my partner. Like if you don't laugh, because there's so many horrible things going on in the world, if you can't laugh together, that's then that's dope. a problem. That's very, that's very For important. So we do laugh a lot. But that's I don't want a clown important. either. Like don't be a clown. No, I'm not a clown, but we, oh, do, no. laugh. we do laugh a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get money, but we can laugh. Hello. When the time the is right. Thing, the gifts thing, I'm sorry, fellas. You know, get your women gifts and stuff, but don't, don't like, because if you have the wrong woman and you sitting there buying all types of crazy ass shit out of her, mm -hmm. out of the pocket, crazy ass shit just to try to keep up, you're going to be pissed off at yourself, man. Don't do that shit. Buy gifts within your means, too. Yeah, Don't buy gifts it. within your means, man. Within her means, as a matter of fact. None Fuck of that. us stay within, within our means. means. We want it all. Because she might not be all that. So, you know, Michael Kors or, or, you know, not to say Michael Kors is not dope. Or anything like that, or no. Tory Burch. I mean, shit. Some people like shower with Tory Burch and shit. <laughs> but here's the thing: it doesn't matter what he calls or how. It looks good. It doesn't matter what you got on. I think a man should definitely buy their woman gifts. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm talking I about. Think... I know what I'm talking about because these women. Now, I know a lot of women. They want the the expensive shit. They want the shit that's out of their means. Hey. That they don't necessarily yeah. deserve, too. But hey, yeah, I've, I've if came they across, up that I box. came across, I came across, what about, what, the what? If they give up that box. Man, fuck their box. The box what? You got to pay what the box? Play. The box got to be full of money. The box, There ain't the no pussy. money in there. No, he's what? like, man, this is a nice <laughs> There ain't no money in that box. He's like, no, man, that box, no. Yeah, box, All right, that type so of. let's go to the next topic, y'all. So Peter Guns, who's on Love and Hip Hop New York, is joining Joey Greco. For those that don't know, he's the first um, African American host of Cheaters. So now Peter Guns, ironically, is going to be the host of Cheaters, the new season. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So, That's for dope. those that know Peter Guns' history of all his cheating that he did on the show, is it? Do you believe once a cheater, always a cheater? First of all, shout out to Peter Gus for that gig. That check, hello. That's a good Dope. ass fucking gig, dog. <laughs> for real. That should have called me to do that. I could imagine you. I would have been in the bush like, <laughs> There he go. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys believe once a cheater, always a cheater? <sighs> well, I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer that before you I guys. I guess I don't know. <laughs> There okay. was a time in my life, and I'm making a confession to all my let's pop off people, where I was a cheater. And it, that, yes, me, little Cindy, okay? <laughs> you was a hoe? No, not a hoe. That's what's up for being honest. That's what's up for being honest. Honest. What the honesty. fuck? I, <laughs> I said cheater. I'm fucking with you. So, no, I know. So the whole thing is, is that I was a cheater, and I mean cheater, like I had a boyfriend, and I would lose interest, so before breaking up with him, I would always be looking for the next one and start dating the next one, and I'm like, I like him, so I'm dumping him. You were talking about that So early. that means I was cheating, but then one day, I got caught cheating, and I got caught cheating with someone who I really cared about, but I was just a cheater, and so <laughs> since then, I've never cheated again. So that's why I say, once a cheater, I can't agree with that, that you're always a cheater, because once you learn your lesson, you really feel the value of what you'll lose as a cheater. Or is it, or is it when you that. meet the person that you really, really care for that's not going to have you like looking at another person or I'm thinking gonna about another I'm going to give you all my person. answer. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah, cheat on it. you unless you cheat on me. So once you find out they cheat on oh, you, Oh, so you play cheat. tit for tat? That type of thing? No, it's not. Guys love saying that tit for tat. Yes, yeah, tit for tat. First of all, tit for tat. First of all we if ain't, I cheat, you cheat. Wait, we ain't, <laughs> but we ain't talking talk about us, though. I know that, but She's I'm just saying. She's hypothetically I'm, I'm saying in general. I know that because somebody don't want to get their head <laughs> wide open to the white meat. You know what you I'm saying? You don't want to so, split to the yeah, white meat, right? I'm not meat, trying right? to bust somebody's shit open to the white meat. So. First of all, all I'm saying, I, I'm not speaking for us. Mm -hmm. But in my past relationships, yes, 
I didn't cheat on them. If they ain't cheat on me. So once you find out they cheated on you. Yeah, but I used to always cheat with girls because. Oh, okay. So <laughs> is that considered cheating as well? Yeah, it is. But I, I never cheated. I never cheated with a man, honestly. Oh, okay. I, I barely get. Listen, I'm such a lady. I don't want to get dirty. I'm cool, right? <laughs> She's like I'm not kissing nobody. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm totally fine without having sex for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Honestly. That's hard to believe. Like, people wouldn't believe that about you. That's what I'm trying to say. It's in the blood. It ain't me. <laughs> He's like, sex drive your song. What about it? <laughs> it's not, it's not. You like sex, that's, Okay, that's like, my alter ego. Mm -hmm. That's like my sex, alter but ego. You don't live on just sex and shit. I, I think, like, it's important in a relationship, but it's not something that you should focus on. Because we're humans, and that's what you, you know what I mean? And we're adults. Sex should not be the first thing it you worry about. It shouldn't be the first thing. Like, Making history and like structure and shit like that should be on like the agenda, mm. like the family. We're, we're the ancestors now, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that vibe, you know what I mean? That's I how I feel. You. I don't know. So let's let audience members pop off about the topic. Once a cheater, always a cheater. What do you think? Yes, because of the fact that relationships are very hard to maintain. So when your partner goes and steps out of that relationship, they don't respect you. They, that that's not respectful, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I do feel like that um, cheating is just, it's horrible. If they cheat on you, just leave their ass. <laughs> it's filthy. Don't take it's them back. It's filthy, it's dirty. And Jocelyn, I just want to say I love you so much. Aww. I love you too, babe. I love you for loving me. Aww. Since I was a teenager, like, I've always loved you. Just thank, thank you, you for, Mom. like, showing your confidence on TV and just being amazing and inspiring me even though my parents would be like those moments that you had, but I'm like, she being herself, like you were great. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, mama. That's so sweet. Thank you. So another thing we wanted to say, you know like when you're with someone in a relationship and they keep accusing you of being a cheater, does that mean that they're actually the ones cheating? Yeah, probably. We, don't, we never really went through that though. Cause we're together, like, I mean, we're together every day. We're together all the time. Mm -hmm. And not even to say like that, like there's no room to cheat, but it just ain't that type of vibe. With so it. outside you know of your relationship, hypothetically, do you think if your partner's always saying, I know you're cheating on me, I know you're cheating, are they the ones actually cheating, do you think? I think so. I yeah. mean, some people might just be insecure. Mm. That too, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, I feel like if they keep accusing you, it's because they're doing it themselves. That's my opinion. I mean, yeah. that should not even be a conversation. Man, it, let Melissa talk about some you cheating. <laughs> you probably Because it's like, what a type of relationship are you having? Like, mm -hmm. you know, the certain conversations shouldn't even be, you know, talked Come about. Up. If you no, got to no, cheat, no, no. if you got to cheat. If you got a beautiful woman, you got to cheat as a man, right? Mm -hmm. If you got to cheat and all that and be all doing the extra shit. Mm -hmm. Unless, like, your religion, obviously, if you're, you're allowed to have a couple wives and stuff. Yeah. Then, um... Y'all know he's an African. He might want his own cute wife. <laughs> <laughs> not, not saying cute, cute, Your cute. wife number 12. <laughs> nah. That's but, cool. Uh, <laughs> More time for me. <laughs> if you don't like the person you with, and mm -hmm. you gotta cheat and all that, then you don't really like that person. You shouldn't really, yeah, yeah you shouldn't be playing house and doing the extra shit. All right, but listen. That's how I feel like, yeah. If you got a beautiful, I got a beautiful woman. I'm gonna cheat. Mm hmm. I mean, nobody. I know. Come on. Why I'm, would you cheat? I'm totally like the a good time. Princess. Come on. Uh, no, we believe you. Like, I'm a good time. Yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm She's like an awesome time. Yeah, I have a great all time. All right, so, so let's let an audience member pop off. Yes. Um, I'm gonna, um, I want to speak on that. Go ahead. I'm, I'm married hey, to Barry. my wife right here. Hey, hey wife. Hey, what's up? And, um, That's what's up, brother. It's, I mean, look, it's hard. It's hard. She always <laughs> killed me. I'm cheating, which I, I didn't really cheat. It just, she stopped doing what she, she stopped doing what we started when, when we got married. So okay. I, I felt awkward. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna blame her. I'm gonna blame her because she done doing what she when she started. She How long stopped. have you guys been what married? What's she doing, Brody? Four years. What's she? So when we started, we were like rabbits and cats and dogs. All of a sudden, <laughs> it, it changed. Slow down. So I'm like, why? Why would it change? I'm tired. I'm working. 
I mean, so it's called life. I hear this. You no, know, the thing is with her, she say she don't trust me, and that 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 don't sound right to me. She don't trust me. So if you don't trust me, why are you with me? Mm. That, that's what I want to know. She can't say this to her husband. She don't trust me. I do not want your wife to wait outside for me and try to fight me. <laughs> and want me like a dog, because I'm going to give you some motherfucking advice. Stand up, stand up. See your biggest idol, Jocelyn. Oh, she admires stand you, up. Jocelyn. Stand up. Stand up, Shorty. All right. Stand up. Come here, stand wife. Up. She got the Jesse the body. She's embarrassed now. <laughs> I can let her tell it. Oh, she's gonna walk like a dog when they get out. Okay, so when, when, when a woman when a she woman stop doing what dog. she's been doing, it's usually because the man has already cheated. So that's why she stopped doing the things that she was doing. Oh, that's another. You're not telling the story right. She said, "Wait, hold on." Hold I'm on. telling the story right. <laughs> So basically, she said that when the man, when the woman stops doing what she's supposed to be doing, that means that the man is already cheating. No. I don't agree with that at all. But no. wife, what do you have to say? No, that's not what it is. I run the. Come up closer because oh. we need you. Hello, y'all. Hello, Jocelyn. Hey, everybody. <laughs> that's not how it goes. Everybody. <laughs> I run a business and I be tired. So you know, it's times when he always wants sex, sex, sex. I be tired. So I guess he feel like since I'm not giving him the sex, he want to step out. So yes, he stepped out, and it's supposed to be a quote unquote a baby got involved. Oh. Yeah. Said, what? what she said, baby? They had a baby. Yes. So he's not telling that part. They had a baby with a baby. Yes. 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 He ain't telling. What? He not telling that part. No, we oh, not telling Lord. that part. Brody, right, right, no, Brody, 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 Brody. Brody. See how he okay. got up here? You should have stayed back there. You should have kept quiet. Wait, everyone, wait, 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 you wait, kept wait, quiet. wait, 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 wait. Everyone, be quiet, but wife. Now, wife, what were you saying, wife? So a baby, quote unquote, got involved. It went to social wait, everyone, media. Quiet, but wife. Our situation went to social media, so it came out, it's not his child, but still, he stepped out, he still stepped out, and he cheated. All I can say, ladies, men's going to cheat, no man is faithful, okay? No man is faithful. Most men, some men just don't get caught, okay? I'm faithful to my husband, and I was faithful to my husband through it all, and I'm still with him, you know, through it all. Things happen. You're a survivor, you don't make it. But you know what's so crazy? All right, Demore, get the mic. Demore, get the mic. We gotta move on. You know what was crazy? Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. You know what's so crazy about this whole little thing that happened? Is that he stood up so confident, like he was so innocent. So husband, I think honestly, husband, if she's tired here and there, then you need to accept it because she took you back. So you got to accept whatever shit she shovels down your throat or separate. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well. <laughs> That was a lot to take in. Yeah. But interesting. Brody. <laughs> I don't know if I would. Okay, the baby came back not to be his baby. It's not his child. But thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. But the fact that he played that way, I was with him when he was like. She tired, she did. He, he was acting like he was the nice guy. But then it's like, damn, damn you got a whole baby? <laughs> Hello. You, it came out to be not your baby, but what did the baby, how long y'all been married? Four years. What did the baby would have been him? Now what? But you don't know that, because I don't know that. 
I don't know if that would have happened to me. I don't know if I would have left. Because listen, kids are kids. You'll be surprised how, how much you love a kid. Like, it could be like the, it could be your enemy's kid. You're not going to harm that kid. If you're a good person, you're not going to harm that kid. You're going to want to embrace that kid. So you never know. Like, if something like that happens, because people do make mistakes, right? Mm. I mean, how many women be married and get pregnant from another man and the husband still stay and raise the kid? You know, so you, <laughs> you just never know. But the fact, you, first of all, you guys shouldn't have, you shouldn't even play that game. And for him, if he do, if, if you do make a mistake and cheat, at least put on a fucking condom. And then, how many times did you fuck, how many times did you fuck the broad for the broad to have a baby and it could be yours? So it's a lot of things that have to be put in, 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 in your mind. In your, you have to think about, can you spend the rest of your life with each other? Because to me, you know, you guys have to really just really talk and really get to the, the root of everything. Like, this cannot happen again. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Like, this just, it's, it's unacceptable. That is not acceptable. Like, there would not be a word that ballistic could fucking say to me. Miss Jocelyn. We ain't talking. It's over. Can I, can I take you to a positive note on relationships? Yes. Huh? We can't see you, though. I know. Oh, okay. How, how did you guys improve each other's? You obviously have a good positive vibe. Well, let's say, let's say one thing. Uh, shout out to Marriage Boot Camp. Uh, well, you can check that on Week TV as well. Yes. When does that show start? That started last week. Is that a uh, Thursday? Week. Yes. Oh, okay. Thursday, which was uh, February 6th. Yeah. February uh, 6th. Yeah. February 6th uh, on Week TV. Uh, it's the hip hop edition. It's the iconic edition. But shout out to Dr. Ish and Judge Toller. Um, they helped a lot when. In our, With our relationship. Yeah, in our mm. relationship. In the beginning, that shit was tough. And so we had a psychiatrist. That helped a lot. That helped us throughout. So, yeah, a psychiatrist for relationships. I recommend and for anybody. I don't care who you are. I'm not saying go talk about anything that you do crazy or all that. Just go talk to somebody, a, a professional, if you want to help you. If you really love the person, you really want it to work, and the you person is help. crazy, go talk to somebody. Go talk to a psychiatrist, man. Therapy. Of course. In our spiritual life and together, absolutely. Every day, we're together every day. We have minimized, like, in the beginning, obviously, like I was telling you guys in the beginning, the arguments as a man. And as I feel, every man should feel like a king. I don't mm -hmm. care who you are. If you don't feel like a king and you're a man, I, I, you know, tighten up. Then you feel like a but, uh, <laughs> Tighten the fuck up. You, know, you feel me, G? If every man should feel like a king and build mm -hmm. their own empire. So, so like... It's really important that you, you know, just, just stay focused, man, with your relationship, man. And just, just again, if help, you're in a relationship, help each other, man. If you're in a relationship, and the man overpowers the woman, you're gonna have a problem. It's just not gonna be a good relationship. You're gonna have a problem, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. Hey, I'm telling you. You hear what she said? That's it. That's all. I, yeah, like the man. That's real because yeah, I. You, because, like, that's what I was saying. The king mentality I got, like, to, to have somebody talk to me like that. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm talking about? Like, Take my spirit. Yeah, like, damn, what she just said to me? Damn, that butt. shit hurt. Damn, that shit hurt. I want to say something, and I want to just be like, how are you going to talk to me like that? Da, 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 but yeah. The and then he forgets who's the real princess. Yeah. And he's no, like, oh, shit. It. It's really just, you know, to have respect for each other, man. She'll respect yeah. you more. If you, if, if you don't argue and yell back, she's going to respect you more. She ain't going to think you and no bitch. What? You're not going to have the arguments. You're not going to have them. Hey, we haven't, I ain't going to lie, we haven't argued for a minute. You said you have an argument what? We haven't argued in a minute. Oh, that's remember. good. But that doesn't mean I don't think about no, breaking we... his skull <laughs> almost every day. Or he doesn't yeah. annoy you. I got that. I be wanting to break his shit. He don't know it, though. I be like... Damn, babe. I think Damn. marriage That's boot camp really it. helped y'all in therapy. That's dope. I think really? all relationships should go talk to a therapist. <laughs> I'm gonna get it all these times. All right, so I we're gonna it. wrap it up with this last topic that I'm gonna bring up right now. So Erica Badu, the singer, 
she's gonna come up with her own incense line that smells like her vagina, right? Erica now, Badu? You, now you know what they say about, about Erica, Erica Badu. Badu. Oh God. I have a story about it. Okay, her. but wait. You know the thing with Erica Badu, she said that the thing with Erica Badu throughout the years, whoever she dates is in a trance and they're like, Ugh, and they lose their careers, their whatever. Absolutely. So she's coming out with an incense line that smells like her vagina. Do you think that's exotic, sexual, or eh? I think that's genius. Genius? I think it's gonna sell out. Because of her reputation. I think it's gonna sell out because it's gonna smell like incense. <laughs> you know, oh, if you burn incense, you're gonna know incense smell like incense and shit. Yeah, <laughs> you have your vagina. different flavors and shit, but. Wait, but what's your like... Erica Badu story? My Erica Badu story, because I'm from Philadelphia, is that yes. I used to go. Shout out to Philly, right? <laughs> so I used to go to the um, underground clubs where, like, um, most deaf. And Erica Badu used to perform. So um, I had access to a lot, you know, backstage and all that. Yeah. So I got the chance to like see Erica in, in most Def in Day Zone. And she used to like uh, walk around with like incense. She used to pace back and forth like this. Really? Incense holding and, incense? Holding incense. And I used to see it like that. And I said, damn, she smells so good. Uh -huh. You know, I was a, young, a little younger, obviously, but. And now, years later, That's the story. she's gonna Look, make millions off of yeah. selling the whole. The whole <laughs> room was incense in the back, like where we was all at. Yeah. And they, her and most deaf. They that pussy better be sweet. <laughs> that incense oh, better yeah. smell like that amazing, shit better right? be sweet. She want to sell her pussy smell. Pussy better be sweet. <laughs> I love it. So before we wrap things up. Let everybody know where they can hear your music, Jocelyn, where hey. they can follow your movements, and you as well, Ballistic. I mean, IG, Jocelyn, Twitter, <laughs> Miss Jocelyn. Google me, bitches, <laughs> and you will totally see everything that I do. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And my Google resume, really, like, I Google myself twice, yes. and I'll be like, yes. Okay. Like, because I, 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 I never, like, you know, Google me, but, like, I've done it twice. Just, like, I was in a moment, and I'm like, damn, I want to see what they say about me. You know what I'm saying? Executive producer, rapper, singer, right. actress, baddest bitch. I'm like, right, yes, baby. Yes, Talk that shit, yes, yes, That's yes, right, baby. Yes. That's like, a great bio, bitch. Talk that, girl. Hello. And I didn't even do it. Somebody did it randomly for me. <laughs> they got like, all facts, right? Hey, fellas, yeah. fellas, Wikipedia. Your woman, you know Wikipedia. Fellas, your woman should be like this, man. <laughs> that's, that's more, like, Hello. Pump up, pumping you to fuck up every day, man. If not, then your, your, your girl's lazy, man. Mm. She lazy, man, and guess what? Then I guess it's whatever. Wait, but listen, but that's the baby thing here. Y'all ain't lazy. Nah, nah, hey, nah y'all get that money. That's right. Get to the money. Hey, you should be motivated every day. We get one, hey, on this earth right here, one life, man. And make it work. Make history. You know, help your family, like, pave the road. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying be, like, famous and all uh -huh. that you have to be like, but just make history in your own way. You know what I'm saying? For your I families. love it. Wait, before you give out your contact info, pop off. So since Jocelyn has proven that she can take over the world, right? Absolutely. What would Jocelyn's fragrance be like? Ooh. Oh. Jocelyn. What's Jocelyn's what? What would your fragrance be like? Oh, sweet, of course. Very sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. I love this that. This is my lady, which, and she sleeps naked every single night. I know. I sleep every I night clothes. naked. Every you sleep night. Naked? When I walk in the room, I'm like, yeah. damn, B. Every day I, I walk in the room, every night. <laughs> Do you sleep naked now? Cause now she sleeps naked. Do you? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes oh. I do. I mean, I put, I, 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 I keep my boxes on sometimes and stuff. Oh, okay. But he protects his <laughs> anaconda. Yeah. yeah, just cause you know. <laughs> to keep it in place. Yeah. Keep that thing tight. <laughs> Wake up and you know. Not me. I'm like, yes, I'm free. <laughs> She's very ballistic, free. Ballistic, where can they follow your movements? Uh, on Ballistic Beats, uh, at Ballistic Beats on Instagram and uh, Twitter. Okay. And uh, Grammy Society. Shout out to Face, my partner. Yay, Face. You if anyone is interested in, in getting some of your beats, where can they go? They can also just, um, you can pretty much DM me or uh, email me and stuff. Okay. Or reach out Grammy Society, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, yeah, we do definitely uh, have a staff that definitely checks everybody. Okay. Uh, checks the emails and stuff. And 
I love okay. it. So we're going to ride out to Jocelyn's song, Sex Drive. But before we do, I got to thank again Phoenix Vodka for always looking out for Let's Pop Off. Sure. Ultra smooth, no hangovers. It is absolutely amazing. I would not co-sign it if it wasn't amazing. So make sure you try it and follow them at Phoenix Vodka. Make sure you follow at Let's Pop Off. And also, shouts to the club we're in, Alter Ego, the hey, whole staff, the whole team. The Leah, Beautiful the show. whole team, I love y'all. Also, the Citywide Smoke Shop, which is right up the street. And their medicinal marijuana, Green Cross Medical Marijuana. Hey. You can also go to Citywide Smoke Shop for that. Shout out to I want to thank Vibes, the DJ, our DJ. Hey, Vibes, what's up? And thanks again to Jocelyn and Ballistic. Thank you. And to my audience, thank, thank you for you, Let's Sydney. Popping Up. Thank you to y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Thank you, man. Shout out to everybody. I had an awesome time. Oh, thank God. I'm glad I came. Me too. Thank you, Cindy, so much, man. That was amazing. That was amazing. Let's take a picture.